San Francisco Giants introduced their new manager today. Gabe Kapler will replace Bruce Bochy, if you can do that. But some are questioning his past. KPIX 5's Andrea Borba is live outside Oracle Park today. Andrea? Well, Ken, the announcement of Kapler's hiring was made last night. There was an outcry on social media. And today, the Giants had to answer questions, along with Kapler, about his past actions. The main topic of conversation at Gabe Kapler's introductory news conference as the new San Francisco Giants manager wasn't balls and strikes, but about his handling of sexual assault allegations while with the Dodgers, along with president of baseball operations, Farhan Zaidi. It was interesting that they both sort of held hands and jumped off the cliff together. Ray Ratto, a longtime Bay Area sports writer, says if the Giants can win a World Series in a year or two, the controversy will largely be forgotten. Even including the baggage makes this an interesting hire and an interesting development for a franchise that, frankly, has had issues with violence with women before. Here's what Kepler said about the issue. These are problems in Major League Baseball clubhouses. and. Far mentioned that, that he hadn't done enough. I know he's speaking for himself personally, but I think I, I certainly haven't done enough. Um, and the industry hasn't hasn't done enough. Michael Goldberg, an associate professor of sports management at USF, says research indicates despite the outcry on social media last night, the Giants' bottom line is likely to be unhurt. I don't see that having a massive impact on, on ticket sales or season tickets or any of the commercial side of the business. Ratto says the question is not how the news conference was handled today. It's what they do about it. It's, you know, what happens when one of their guys gets involved in something like this? What sort of structure will they have created so that they don't make the same mistakes that they both admit they made in Los Angeles? Now, for their part, both Zaidi and Kapler say that there was no cover up in Los Angeles. Live in San Francisco outside Oracle Park, Andrea Borba, KPIX 5.